We have learned some hard lessons since Coleman died. And here are some of what we know. There are soldiers and veterans who will never, ever, ever access military or VA mental health services. There are soldiers and veterans who are at risk of suicide, who will never describe themselves as suicidal, and who will never dial the suicide hotline. We know that there is a tremendous critical need to publicize and support community-based and civilian mental health programs so that our soldiers and veterans have the broadest possible access to the widest possible range of mental health services. Our armed forces are facing a suicide epidemic. It's one of the reasons is, I believe, because of the grueling repeated combat tours of our active soldiers, the Guard, and Reserve personnel. We've pushed men and women to their limits, and in some heartbreaking cases, beyond their limits. Our country failed this young man. And neither the Departments of Defense nor Veterans Affairs would take the lead in treating Coleman's diagnosed PTSD. So he fell through the cracks, or really a chasm, that exists in our current suicide prevention efforts. In the meantime, UNDNJ is not waiting for Congress to act. University officials have informed us that they intend to implement the provisions of our legislation as part of the expanded vet to vet program. This outstanding program, I think, is going to be something that will benefit thousands. Um, a direct outreach program to New Jersey-based members of the IRR, the individual mobilization augmentees, and those in the inactive National Guard. And I want to thank and commend UNDNJ and the New Jersey Department of Military and Veterans Affairs for their superb partnership, and I'll do all I can to make sure that this program gets the funding and the support it needs. Rush, uh, Rush and I worked together on getting uh, this program uh, into the national review and to make sure, if heavenly possible, that it brings its success to veterans across country. And right now, uh, we know that we just can't stand with our people when they're on the battlefield or when we're trying to recruit them or encouraging them uh, to enlist in various and sundry ways that, that we do. We have to show our commitment to these individuals by determined by the way we treat them once the uniform comes <coughs> off, they finish with their service. And this is a perfect way to show that feeling. Right now, military personnel returning from uh, de de uh, deployment are committing suicide at terrible rates. Last year, more U.S. military personnel took their own lives than those that were killed in combat in Iraq. And for our veterans, the picture can be very bleak. The Veterans Administration estimates that 18 veterans take their own lives each and every day. The need to improve mental health care for our service members and veterans is clear and demands a new sense of urgency. And we can, must do better, and we can do better, and the proof is right here at UMDNJ. This program absolutely has changed and has, has been an integral part of our reintegration program as our youngsters come back from combat operations. To date, the New Jersey Army and Air National Guard have deployed upwards of 15,000 soldiers and airmen. 15,000. And what we all need to understand is these are the sons and daughters of all New Jerseyans. And to be able to partner with UMDNJ and do what we are doing together is making a difference in the soldiers' lives, the families' lives, the spouses, the children, the moms, and the dads. We've got to intervene as early as we can to deal with TBI, traumatic brain injury, and post-traumatic stress disorder. And if we don't have the early intervention, it's going to snowball. And at the end of the day, they're going to make bad choices. I mean, I can think of nothing worse than a great young American, a patriotic American that has worn our nation's uniform, that, that has fought for the American way of life and come home and take their own life. 
we need to make sure we're there for them. In New Jersey, there has not been a single suicide in the past five years among the National Guard, who are the primary recipients of our vet-to-vet -vet services. But this alone is not good enough. We are blessed with unwavering support from our officials in Trenton and our legislators in Washington. UMDNJ is proud and honored to be of service to those who give so much to our country. The work that goes on here with a modest staff and a handful of volunteers is work that saves lives. When Coleman was alive, he did the best that he could do for the men and women with whom he served. You have shouldered that burden now, and I think that Coleman would be grateful.